Hello, friends. Not him. This is Kurt Berglund with Pine Tar Baseball, Great Teams of the 20th Century, Volume 2 Action for you. We're running through all the teams in the set. All of the purchase information is below in the description. A list of the teams, how to get the teams, your options for PDF, for cards, all that good stuff. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I need your subscriptions to keep the channel going. Thank you so much for that. Today, we have a great rivalry game for you. A couple of World Series teams. The 1988 Los Angeles Dodgers visiting the 1962 San Francisco Giants. And I can't wait. But first, that's right, we're ripping some junk wax. And I'm going to tell you what I think about the loser, I mean, the players in these cards. 1991 Donruss, series number two. That's right. Number two, not number one, not number three. Remember, friends, there's three kinds of people in the world. Those that can do math and those that can't. Willie Stargell puzzle right there. Where's Willie? Nobody knows. All right, here we go. Travis Fryman, Detroit Tigers. I don't know. 1993 Tigers. Played him at shortstop over Trammell. Hmm. Jose Mesa or Joe Table. You decide. I don't remember him. Oh, yeah, I guess I do. As an Oriole, because as an Oriole, he gave up Robin Young's 3,000th hit. Some guy named Ricky Henderson. Bill Doran. Good player. Injuries, but good player. By the time he got to the Reds, it was over. Oh, boy. The bane of every Brewer fan's existence. Now I think he's kind of funny. Sort of. The stories of him launching throws from the infield into the first base boxes on purpose to get himself out of Milwaukee... That's going to be what I remember about Chef. Matt Stark, DH. No idea. None. I don't even think his mom knows. Another injury-shortened career, but a good one. Jose Rio. Kelly Mann. No idea. David Segui, I think he had one good year. Let's see if 1990 was it. No, it wasn't. Kevin Mitchell. Davey Johnson played him at shortstop in 1986. He played Kevin Mitchell at shortstop. Excuse me. Daryl Strawberry. Mike Benjamin. Heck of a glove. Heck of a glove. And he's a rated rookie. Here's something you don't see every day. The National League batting champ in an American League uniform. Yep. He did it. Checklist. Everyone's crazy about him now. Randy Veers. I remember that guy. So do American League hitters. All right, one more. We're ripping one more. One more. One more rip. Here we go. Ready? Willie Stargell's feet. That does anything for you. Mike Greenwell, here's a guy that could hit. Never thought he got his due. 
He could play. Halle Berry. That's all I'm going to say. Halle Berry. Randy Milligan. Another glove. I don't think much of a bat. Nah, league average. <sighs> Needles in his butt. Really? John Olerud with the helmet. Mark Leonard, fourth outfielder, I think. Fifth outfielder, fourth outfielder on the Giants World Series team of 89. Okay, everybody, wag your finger at the screen. Good reliever. 1980s good reliever. But reverse splits got righties out better than lefties. Okay, do your George Costanza. Oh, no. Daddy Costanza. Frank Costanza. Do your Frank Costanza. Omar Oliveras. Jesse Barfield. Everybody in the American League spent 15 minutes with the Yankees in the 80s and 90s. It was a rule. It was the league policy. Andy Van Slyke. Sitting on his butt after Sid Bream slid home. That's a memorable memory for me. Is sitting in center field. Gary Gaetti. Big, big, big for the Twins. And not small for the Cubs in 98. Here's a good pitcher. Terry Mulholland didn't get his due. 93 Phillies World Series and 98 Cubs playoffs. And a player I liked a lot, but really wasn't that good, Mike Felder. He could run, though. He could run. He could definitely run. This concludes your junk wax portion of today's show. More to come. All right. Let's get to the starting lineups for today's game between the 1988 Dodgers at the stick to play the 62 Gents. Pine Tar Baseball, Great Teams of the 20th Century, Volume 2. Steve Sachs leading off for the Dodgers, playing second base. Mike Sosha will bat second, playing catcher. Kirk Gibson bats third, left field. Mike Marshall bats fourth, he's in right. Franklin Stubbs bats fifth, he's at first. John Shelby bats sixth, he's in center. Jeff Hamilton bats seventh, he's at third. Alfredo Griffin going to play short, bats eighth. And Tim Belcher will bat ninth and do the pitching on the road. He is an A pitcher with a D the third time through the order. Strikeout modifiers on 55 and 77. He can give you six. And more if it's going well. For the 62 gents, it's Harvey Keene leading off in right field. Chuck Hiller bats second at second base. Willie Mays bats third and center. Orlando Cepeda bats fourth at first. Willie McCovey bats fifth in left field. Tom Haller bats sixth and does the catching. Jim Davenport bats seventh and plays third. And Jose Pagan will bat eighth and play short. Jack Sanford on the hill, right-hander, A+. Plus, first two times through the order, then he drops to an A. No strikeout or walk modifiers. He can give you seven and more if it's going well. Using two dice, not three. The blue one for error checks. Just using the red on the tens and the white on the ones digit, and we are ready to go. Here comes Steve Sachs with Mike Sosha on deck. Pitch. Hit to center field. It's Willie Mays. The say hey kid, and we are underway. One out in the first. Sosha against Sanford. 
Chopped on the infield, off Sanford's glove, rolls toward Hiller. Sosha needs a day and a half to get there, and they get him. Two down, and now Kirk Gibson. Gibby. 74 is grounded to Pagan. Jose throws to Cepeda, and the side is retired in 1-2-3 fashion in the first inning. Now it's going to be the Giants' turn. Belcher, tough customer, tough competitor. Uh, Harvey Keen, Chuck Hiller, Willie Mays in the bottom of the first. Belcher winds and delivers. Ball four, Keen's on. Here comes Chuck Hiller. Belcher to stretch and the pitch. Base hit Hiller. This one goes to left field down the line. Going to be trouble. Gibson's got to go get it. They're going to wave Keene around third. He's a moderate runner. Here comes Gibson's throw. They're waving him home. Not in time. Keene scores. On the double to left by Hiller, taking advantage of the rag arm of Kirk Gibson. Hiller's in scoring position. Nobody out in the first. Mays up. Pitch from Belcher. Hey, struck him out. Picked a good time. One gone in the first. Now it's Cepeda. McCovey on deck. 62 gents could play. Could mash. Base hit Cepeda. Drops in right in front of Mike Marshall. Home comes Hiller. Here comes Marshall's throw. And he's in there. 2 nothing Giants. Cepeda's on first. One out. McCovey up. Lasorda pacing in the dugout. Pitch to McCovey. Hey, struck him out. That's two strikeouts. And two outs in the bottom of the first. And here's Haller. Belcher winds and delivers to Haller. That's going to be strike three swinging. So Belcher gets the side but allows two runs. On two hits, they leave one after one complete. Two nothing Giants. At the stick. Sanford. No sign of his son. That would make him Sanford and son. And I just aged myself about 40 years. Okay. Marshall. Leading off the second inning, the pitch. We have no strikeout or walk modifier. It's grounded to Cepeda. He's going to take it himself for one out. Now it's Stubbs. And we got an error check. Our first error check of the game. Need the blue die. 10 tells us who it's hit to. And it's hit to Sanford. And he boots it. That's going to be an E1. And Stubbs is on first with one base error by Sanford. Shelby up. One out. Get rid of the blue die again. Pitch to Shelby. Hey, ball two. Ball two. Hit to center. Mays under it for two outs. And now Jeff Hamilton, the third sacker for Tommy Lasorda in 88. Hey, struck him out. That Sanford's first. He gets through the second. Played one and a half. It's two nothing gents. I'm going to say gents until somebody comments about it in the comments. Belcher and Davenport will facing off in the bottom of the second. Pagan on deck, then Sanford, the pitch. Hey, struck him out. That's four for Belcher. One gone in the second. Now it's Pagan. The wind and the pitch. Get to the kitchen. Oh, my God, I smell gas. It's a range check. We're going to explode. Don't light a match. Whatever you do. Oh, my God. Base hit for... Wait a minute. Let me check this. Yes. Base hit for Pagan on the range check. Shelby doesn't get there. Drops in. Now it's Sanford. 
Jack Sanford. Belcher the stretch. Checks Pagan. The pitch home. He's bunting. Oh, and it's not a good one. Uh, bounces it to Stubbs. He goes to Griffin for one. The relay not in time as Sanford legs it out, if that's the expression I'm really looking for. Now it's Keene with two outs and Sanford on first. Keene walked and scored in the first. The pitch... Hey, struck him out on the strikeout modifier. That's five strikeouts out of six outs so far in the game for Belcher. So we go to the third. It's 2 nothing, Jints. And I'm saying Jints until you comment on it in the comments. Sanford will face Griffin, Belcher, and then the top with Sachs in the third. Sanford winds and delivers. Base hit Alfredo Griffin. I'm going to say that one more time. Base hit Alfredo Griffin. He's on. Now it's Belcher. Sanford the stretch. He checks Griffin. Belcher squares to bunt. Belcher gets it down. Ah. Uh, and it's going to roll past Davenport. Everybody's going to be safe on the doubles. Two on, nobody out for Sacks. Sanford the stretch. The pitch to Steve Sacks. He squares to bunt. Oh, and it's not a good one. <laughs> oh, man. Tommy's not going to like this one. It's hit right back to Sanford. He goes to Pagan at third, covering for the 1 6 force out. Sachs is safe at first. Belcher safe at second. Two on, one out now for Sosha. Sanford, the stretch, the pitch. Base hit Sosha. Center field, Mays charging hard. Gets the throw in in good shape. Belcher's not a speedster. He holds a third. The bases are dripping with Dodgers, and it's Gibson. One out. Giants infield at double play depth. The pitch to Kirk. Hey, struck him out. Sanford gets his second K. There's two outs now, and Marshall's up. Marshall was tough when the back wasn't bothering him. Sanford, the stretch, the pitch. And we've got an error check. This could be gruesome. This could be gruesome. Got all three dice in play. 33, he hit it to second. That's Hiller. And Hiller boots it. Hiller kicks at Clank. And we got the merry-go-round going now. It's a two-base boot for Hiller. And the Dodgers have tied the game. Belcher scores from, from third. Sack scores from second. Sosha motors, if that's the expression I'm looking for, all, <coughs> all the way to third base. And Marshall is safe at second on a two-base clank by Chuck Hiller. 2-2 two -two ball game, top of the third. Stubbs can give the Dodgers the lead with a hit. Sanford, the stretch, the pitch. Launch to center, but not deep. Mays under it and takes it for out number three. So, unearned runs cost the Giants. The Dodgers score two on three hits. They leave two. And the runs are unearned, but they count. After two and a half, we got a 2-2 two -two game. Ballet, anyone? Get it? Ballet, anyone? 2-2? Two -two? Ha, 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 ha. Okay, Chuck Hiller, Willie Mays, and Orlando Cepeda in the bottom of the third. Here we go. Pitch to Hiller. Grounds this one to Stubbs. Franklin's going to take it himself, and there's one out in the third. Now it's Mays. Struck out in the first. The pitch from Belcher. Is he's an A. That's going to be to center field. Shelby. 
two down. And now Cepeda. One for one in the game. Belcher winds and delivers. To left, toward the line. Gibson on the run. Gibson gets there. And that will retire the side in the third. Belcher's retired five in a row. We go to the fourth, and it's 2-2. Two, two. Ballet, anyone? Ha, 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 2 ha, 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 All right. If you can't amuse yourself, what is the freaking point? John Shelby, Jeff Hamilton, Alfredo Griffin, 6 7 8 in the fourth. Shelby's 0 for 1, the pitch. Hit to center. Willie Mays is there, and there's one down. Now it's Hamilton. Jeff is 0 for 1. He struck out in the second. Ground ball, Davenport. He throws to Cepeda for out number two. Griffin with two outs and nobody on. Belcher on deck. The pitch. Chops this one to Pagan. He charges. He fields. He throws. That retires the side. Four in a row for Sanford. Retired. We go to the bottom of the fourth. 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> two, two. <laughs> gents. Dodgers. Gents. Comments. All right. McCovey. Haller. Davenport. 5-6-7. Willie Mack. Stretch. Ground ball, Hamilton. He gloves it and throws to Stubbs. One gone. Felcher seems to have overcome his very shaky first inning. Tom Haller's 0 for 1. The pitch to him. Ground ball, Sacks. Steve's got it and throws to Stubbs for out number 2. Now it's Davenport. 0 for 1. Ground ball, Hamilton. He throws to Stubbs, and Belcher gets three ground outs. He now has eight in a row retired. We go to the fifth, and it's 2-2. And I'm sick of the ballet joke, so I'm probably not going to use it more than six more times. <laughs> All right, Sanford will face Belcher, then Sachs, then Sosha. 9-1-2 in the fifth for the Dodgers. Sanford winds and delivers. Hit to left. McCovey is even going to be able to catch this one. And there's one out. Now it's Sacks. 0 for 2, but a run scored. The pitch. Not deep. McCovey again. And two outs. Sosha. Mike. 1 for 2. Comebacker, glove by Sanford. He takes a couple steps towards Cepeda and gives him a nice soft toss. That retires the side. We're halfway through, and we've decided nothing. It's 2-2. Two, two. Bell anyone? Ha 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 ha. Okay, Pagan, Sanford, and Keen. 8-9-1 against Belcher. Center field, Shelby into right center a few steps and makes the catch for out number one. Now it's Sanford. He could get on base once in a while. Belcher winds and delivers. Hit to left. Right at Gibson. Two down. Ten in a row retired for Belcher. And now it's Keen. 0 for 1. Walk and a run scored on his ledger. This one's grounded to Sacks. Everybody in the first base box is Ducks. And he makes the throw to Stubbs for out number three. So we've played five complete, and it's 2-2. Two, two. Ha, 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 ha. And it'll be 3-4-5, the meat, if that's the expression I'm looking for, of the Dodgers order in 1988. Gibson, Marshall, and Stubbs. Sanford facing Gibson. Gibby's over for 2, the pitch. Hit to Mays in center, left center. Runs it down, one gone. Now it's Marshall. Hit it to Hiller in the, four, in the third. Brought home two runs. No ribbies for him, though. Not on the clank. Uh, ground ball, Hiller again. He throws to Cepeda for out number two. 
And here comes Stubbs. Franklin, 0 for 2. Get some light on the subject here. I don't know if that helps or not. Uh, ground ball, Pagan. He throws to Cepeda. Sides retired. Ten in a row retired now for Sanford. Go to the bottom of the sixth. It's 2-2. Two, two. Belcher. We'll face Hiller, Mays, and Cepeda. 2-3-4 in the bottom of the sixth. He lost him. Hiller walks. One on for Mays. Not what you're looking for. Dodger bullpen going to get active. Uh, and Tim Cruz. And uh, ugh. and Jesse Orozco, lefty righty double barreled action, just the way I like it. Bottom of the sixth, Mays, ball two. Head in the count, he's 0 for 2 on the day. Hiller at first, the pitch. Ground ball chopped to Hamilton. He goes to Sachs for one. Everybody ducks in the first base boxes. The relay to Stubbs, not in time. Mays beats the wrap. Hiller's retired 5-4 on the fielder's choice. One out, Cepeda up. McCovey on deck. Pitch to Orlando is hit to center. Shelby trots in a few steps, two down. And now McCovey. Mays at first, two outs. McCovey's 0 for 2, the pitch. To center, Shelby on the run. Right center, deep. Warning track, got it. That'll retire the Gents in the sixth. You go to the seventh and it's still 2-2. Two, two. Sanford will face Shelby, Hamilton, and Griffin in the seventh, 6-7-8. Sanford winds and delivers, hit to left. This is McCovey, unbelievably playing well defensively. 11 in a row retired for Jack. Hamilton, 0 for 2. Hit to left, one more time for McCovey. Two down, and now Griffin. Alfredo's 1 for 2. On deck, Belcher. And that's a base hit for Griffin to left field. Now you can say he went the opposite way, or you can say he, went, he got sawed off. But either way, he's on first with his second hit of the game. I said his second hit of the game. Look at those numbers in 1988. Yikes. That's what you call an albatross. All right. Now Belcher's up, two outs, top of the seventh. Could hit for him. Go to the pen. Yeah, why not? Mike Davis will run, ah, will not run, will pinch hit. See, I'm thinking about him pinch running ahead of Gibson in the game one of the 88 World Series. He was on base when Gibby went deep off Eck. Pinch ran for somebody. Who did he run for? Was it Hatcher? I think it was. Anyway, he's going to hit for Belcher. Saying Mike Davis was hitting for anybody in 1988 was a bit of a stretch, but we're going to go for it anyway. Griffin on first, two outs. Davis at the plate. We got a 2-2 score. Sanford the stretch, the pitch. Right field, curving toward the line. Harvey Keene on the run, and he makes the catch to retire the sides. The Dodgers go for some offense, and it doesn't work. 
We go to the seventh, the time to stretch them out in Frisco. And your score is 2-2. Two, two. Who's ahead? Ha <laughs> ha. Orozco is going to be the new Dodger pitcher. He was only 307 years old by 1988, and he pitched for another 13 years after that. Tom Haller, Jim Davenport, and Jose Pagan. Lefty, righty, righty up for the Giants in the seventh. Orozco on the road was an A pitcher. Walks everywhere. Gives you one inning if you need him. The pitch to Haller is strike three swinging. One gone in the seventh. Now it's Davenport, 0 for 2. Pagan on deck. Pitch to Davenport, grounded to Hamilton. He plants and throws to Stubbs for two outs. Now it's Pagan. One for two. Pagan hits it to right. Mike Marshall there. And we'll retire the side. We're going to the eighth. We got a good one in Frisco. 2-2 game. Sanford coming out for inning number eight. Looking for Lamont. And maybe Grady. Uh, it'll be Sack, Sosha, and Gibson. And the bullpen is active for the G-Men. Stu Miller. And Mike McCormick, lefty-righty, double-barreled action in the Giants' bullpen. Steve Sachs leads off. He's 0 for 3, but he's scored a run. The pitch to Steve Sachs is a base hit. Down the left field line, McCovey's got to chase it down in the corner. Around first goes Sachs, and he's going to cruise into second with a double. And here comes Sosha. Mike is 1 for 3. First base open, Gibson on deck. Sanford, the stretch, the pitch home to Sosha. Hey, struck him out. That's Sanford's third. One gone in the eighth. Now it's Gibson. Kirk is 0 for 3. Sacks in scoring position, the pitch. Hit to center, Mays under it. Two down, Sacks tagging. He's going to try it. Mays throw, not in time. Sacks moves up to third, and Marshall up now with the lead run 90 feet away. Stubbs on deck. Sanford. Going to go from the windup. I think they did that in the 60s. 0 for 3, the pitch. And this is trouble. This is big trouble. The left and deep. Back is McCovey. Gone. Marshall has left the building. So has Elvis. It's a 4-2 Dodger lead as Marshall takes Sanford out of here. And here comes Alvin Dark. A beat too late to get Sanford out of the game. He wants the left-hander, Mike McCormick. And McCormick will face Stubbs. Stubbs is 0 for 3. McCormick is a lefty. At home, he is an E pitcher. He has walks on 55 and 77. He can give you an inning. He is batting in the ninth spot in the order at the moment. Stubbs at the plate. They're not going to hit for him. Here we go. To center, Mays, right center, and makes the catch to retire the side. But the Dodgers on a Mike Marshall two-run dong take a 4-2 lead. And my ballet jokes are no longer funny. Well, maybe they were never funny to begin with. Yeah, they were a little funny. All right, bottom of the eighth. 
bottom of the eighth, and it's going to be Tim Cruz to set up Jay Howell. Cruz will face the pitcher spot, and then the top of the order with Keene and Hiller. 9-1-2 for the Gents. Hitting for McCormick will be... They got a good bench. They got a deep bench. It's going to be Matty Alou. Left-handed hitting outfielder. Just getting his start in 62. 292 average. If he gets on, Keen will be the tying run. Cruz. A-plus on the road. No strikeout or walk modifiers. He can give you two innings. He winds and delivers to right, sinking fast, but Marshall there, and one down. Now it's Keen. Harvey's 0 for 2. Center field, Shelby, two down. And Chuck Hiller, one for 2, and a Bad error. And this is trouble. Hiller's going to launch this one over the head of John Shelby. Atoning for his error. He's got his second double of the game, and he's in scoring position for Mays. And Mays is the tying run at the plate. That's going to get Jay Howell up. Dodger closer. Mays is 0 for 3. Cruz the stretch. He checks Hiller at second. The pitch home to Willie. Hit to left and deep. Driving Gibson to the track. And he makes the catch. For out number 3. We're going to the ninth. It's 4-2 Dodgers. Alright. So we have a new pitcher for the G-Men. Stu Miller. Ephes pitch and all to face Shelby Hamilton and Griffin unless Tommy goes to the bench. Miller A plus on the road or at home. Fifty five and seventy seven on the strikeout modifiers. He can give you two innings. Shelby is zero for three. Four two L A. It's the top of the ninth. The pitch hit to center. Willie Mays. One down. Now it's Hamilton. Hamilton's 0 for 3. Miller winds and delivers. Ground ball Davenport. He plants and throws to Cepeda. Two down. And Alfredo Griffin, who's 2 for 3. No other Dodger has two hits. Yikes. Pitch to Alfredo. Center field, sinking fast. Here comes Mays. That's out number three. All right, we go to the bottom of the ninth. New Dodger pitcher is their closer, Jay Howell. And he was what you would call shut down in 1988. A plus on the road. Strikeouts on 55 through 60 and 77. And an inning was what he was good for. For the G-Men in the bottom of the night, for the Gents, it's Cepeda, McCovey, and Haller. Four, five, and six. They need two runs to send us to extra innings. They need three to walk it off. It's 4-2 LA in the bottom of the ninth. Cepeda up, Howell winds and delivers. Base hit Cepeda. Left field, drops in front of Gibson. He's on. Now it's McCovey, the tying run. Willie, 0 for 2. Howell, the stretch. Check Cepeda. The pitch to McCovey. Base hit. Left field. Drops in front of Gibson. Cepeda stops at second. McCovey's at first. They're going to get a runner for McCovey. He's the tying run, potentially. Runner at first will be backup infielder Ernie Bowman.
Now it's Tom Heller, who's got some juice in that bat. On deck, Davenport. Howell in a jam. Two on, nobody out. He's got a two-run lead. The stretch, the pitch to Heller. Hey, struck him out on the strikeout modifier. 77 gives Howell his first. And Heller's third strikeout on the day. Heller gets the hat trick. Davenport up now. They got sticks. They're going to let Davenport bat, though. First and second. Pitch to Davenport. Ground ball. Third, knocked down by Hamilton, picks it up, throws to Stubbs, gets his man Davenport at first as the runners move up to second and third. Cepeda at third, Bowman at second. Pagan is due and will not bat. No, 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 no. Could go with a Lou. Could go with Ed Bailey. Uh, gonna go with Ed Bailey. Left-handed backup catcher. Played a lot against left-handed pitching. And Haller was a left-handed batter, so it was a weird, funky platoon thing they had going on. All right, first base open. Felipe Alou is on deck in the on-deck circle in case Bailey walks or does something else to continue the game. Alou will pinch hit for Stu Miller. Two outs, bottom of the ninth. Cepeda at third, Bowman at second. They are the tying runs. Bailey at the plate. He was a 232 hitter, but walked a ton. 351 on base average and a 476 slugging mark. He's got power, big time power. If Howell grooves him one, this game is over. Howell the stretch, the pitch. Ground ball stubs. He's going to flip to Howell, and that is your ball game. It's a 4 2 Dodger victory. The winning goes to Orozco. The save goes to Howell. The loss goes to Sanford. The line score for the Dodgers, four runs on six hits. And they committed no errors. The Giants scored only two runs, both in the first inning. On six hits, and they committed two errors, one of which was disastrous. All right, all of your purchase information for this set is in the description for this video. Check it out. Let me know if you have questions. My email, berglund.curt at yahoo.com. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe. I need your subscriptions, folks. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to share this video. Spread the news. Thanks again. Have a good one. So long, everybody.